All right, so let's talk Hellion. Um, this is actually a request that a user made. Uh, I'll just call him Martin. Uh, and he requested more how to fix videos, specifically on uh, Hellion, Thorgate, and Robinson. Um, I was working on Thorgate, but then I have a, had a good idea about Hellion. Um, I actually quite like it, and I, I didn't think I would because I, as many people... Uh, who watch the channel know I'm not a big fan of heat, heat sucks, but um, yeah, I had an idea that I think kind of works for Hellion after going through a few ideas, and uh, yeah, so let's go through it. Uh, well, first, uh, let's uh, talk about Hellion. So, Hellion uh, starts with 42 mega crates, 3 heat production, and the ability is basically you can use heat as cash. Now, I've stated many times uh, this ability, I mean, it gives you more flexibility, but you are spending a more expensive resource as a less expensive resource. Like, heat is slightly better than money. It's, it's more expensive to get heat production. Um, obviously, it's less flexible, and this makes it flexible. But really... Like, you're taking a hit every time you use your ability. You want to use it as little as possible. Ideally, you just, to me, you just want to use your hit as hit, take advantage of the production, and then maybe a little at the end as cash. But the more you use your ability, basically the least efficient you are <laughs> in terms of paying, getting cash, right? And so... Um, that's that's I mean this I've already been talking about it but this is the problem to be is the main problem the other problem is heat itself now uh, you can't basically just focus on heat because well you need to focus on oxygen as well uh, and the problem is if someone is focusing on greeneries uh, then that player is going to score more points usually because greeneries is usually I mean they're more expensive but it usually get three points for a greenery. One for the oxygen, one for the greenery, and usually you'll have a city next to it. So, I mean, you have to pay for all of that. It's not it's not straight up three points. Uh, but generally, greeneries just give you more points, and they also pick up resources uh, from the ground. Uh, they work better with ocean walks. And so, like, I'm always terrified when I'm Hellion to see, uh, you know, I'm not Hellion often to see Ecoline. Uh, whenever I see Ecoline, it's like, ugh. Like, now you have to, like, bump rush the oxygen or go for an engine game with a very like inefficient nearly turning all your heat into money for most of the game um but you basically you can't increase the heat for the plant player because well th that'll help them rush they'll get more points and you, they'll hit requirements that they need to play in plant production cards faster right so it's, it's just very bad matchup against any plant corp against engine corps um they're just not a better engine corp um like you start like if you're going for engine you can maybe call it three mag crate production and then just compare it to something like Chunqing, who you know is just better at any engine than helion right um so yeah i i've always thought helion is one of the worst companies in the game i do horrible with it for the most part when i play with it um i i know people generally like it a little better than i do but yeah um, I think that's the problem basically uh, you if you you have to basically get very good plan cards to, for me so you can do a rush I almost never go for the engine uh, I feel like like I said your ability you kind of have to like hit yourself a little to use it so don't love it so um, yeah that's the problem so let's talk into the fixes and the first fix was actually a suggestion by the user who requested the video Martin something uh, and he just suggested doing something like Ecoline, line where you can turn maybe seven heat into um, a heat step or twelve heat into two heat steps. Uh, and I mean, obviously, this would make it a little better. My problem with that isn't that now your first ability would be even more inefficient because if you turn seven heat into seven money. Um, now you're getting, you know, seven money instead of a heat step, whereas before you were getting eight money instead of a heat step. I know it's the same seven heat, but now you have, like, like your heat became slightly more valuable and you have even less reason to turn it into money. So, to me, that changes the corp. Uh, like, basically, you would never want to use your ability at that point, and it kind of, like, the corp ceases to be what it I think they want it to be. I don't want to change that essence of the corp so much. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, I do think it, this is a valid suggestion. It makes it stronger. It's just, uh, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it takes it further away from what it's supposed to do. My next idea was to um, basically give it a way to raise oxygen. So do like, a, you know, you can turn eight heat into an oxygen step as well. Um, I think this was too flexible, honestly. Um, I, I, I didn't play test any of these uh, fixes, but after you know thinking about it and thinking about how it would play, I, I think it just it wouldn't be really like a heat corp. It's I mean it uses heat, but it's not focused on temperature because what you do is you'd probably just rush the oxygen all the way up and then you have the heat track all to yourself. Uh, and now your heat is available for you know the 19 heat steps and the 14 oxygen steps. That's 33 steps that you can get with your heat. So your heat just becomes extremely good. So again, this is an, an to me this one is probably a bit OP um, because then you're you're forcing every other player to go for heat, right? Um, and it also doesn't address a few of the problems. Now, like, another problem I have with this corporation is the tag, and that's more a heat problem than a helium problem, but there's no heat tag, it just has a space tag, it doesn't go well with anything, and the other problem is that there are a lot of good asteroids on the heat track, um, and so, basically, like, all those cards, like, really good cards like Demos, for helium, kind of lies points from them. So whenever you play, you know, Demos down, um, you're, you're actually like taking away points that you would probably get anyway for with heat. Uh, so that's the other thing. There are very uh, that doesn't happen to the oxygen or plant player so much. There aren't that many ways to raise oxygen. There's, you know, street plane is very good early, but late is too much money. Um, and then there's a couple of asteroids, but they're okay, and they're just one step. But, but I mean, the heat, you have like Nuke Zone, uh, Giant Ice Asteroid, um, Demos Down, Big Asteroid, Lava Flows, all of those. Like, I, I've seen the heat track just go up really fast and just leave Helium Player with all that heat, right? Um, now, my third solution, I just thought, what if I just go, like, help the engine side of helium right so what if it's 2x money or one and a half x money and i already did something clunky with manutech i don't want to do like one and a half money so like basically you would turn eight hit into 12 money but i i, I again i don't want to do anything too clunky and 2x is is it's horrible it's it's too too good uh so like imagine moho giving you eight money production in a tile uh, Mohol area. Um, so, you know, I just checked a few of the heat cards and, and they will all be broken basically. Even Micro Meals becomes better than sponsors, like a half price sponsors without a tag, but it's still like th that's okay, right? Um, so, yeah, no, that was too much, but thinking about that <laughs> and thinking about the two previous problems that I mentioned, I think I came up with a pretty nice solution. So, here it is here's the fix. For Helium. So, you got your same ability at first. Um, you know, you can turn heat into money, but once the temperature is maxed, so, you know, plus eight, you can turn it uh, heat for two money, right? So, th think about what this does first. Um, you now are not, like, like, you now have an incentive to throw asteroids, and other players throwing asteroids is not cannibalizing points from you. It's actually, like, getting that heat track up, which you want, because it, it sort of gives you, you know, god mode. Um, <laughs> because 2x is a lot. Like, imagine you get your heat production up maybe 12, uh, which is something you could aim for with, with Hillion, uh, and then you finish the heat track two gens before the end of the game uh now you're producing 24 cash every generation so that's 48 extra cash that you get uh, and you still have your flexibility at the beginning right so um 
yeah, I, I think this is really solves that problem with the asteroids that Helion has. And then you can go for, if you're playing a plant player, it's like you still don't want to see equal and ever if you're Helion. Uh, but now, like, rushing up that heat track is not so terrible because you're not just helping them rush, but you can also do a little engine game at the end of the game. The other nice thing about this, there's a little bit more synergy now with asteroids. You're not cannibalizing your points, and asteroids are space tags, and that kind of goes with your space tag. Now, I know that really space tags on the table are pretty worthless, other than, like, satellites and a few other cards, but um, and that's what Helium gives you, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but still, like, a, a bit more synergy with space tags now. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I think I really like it. Uh, so again, this, this gives you an incentive to, like, rush the hit track as hard as possible. So you can now really focus on hit. And once you're done, now your hit is worth two money, which is really valuable. Like, this is really good. Um, and yeah, anyway, I, that's my fix for Helion. Uh, I really like to know your thoughts. I actually am quite happy with this one. I think I'm, I'm gonna uh, try it whenever uh, I get a chance to play tabletop or maybe against Automa. Uh, though to be honest, I probably have to get through all the new corps when I get that expansion. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If anyone can try it, also that'd be awesome. And yeah, see you next time.